Hi, welcome back. In this segment, we're going to talk about the Tolman model and compare that to the logic bridge. Some of you may be familiar with it. It's a, it's a common form of argument that's used uh, to help people structure their reasoning. The most common example that you'll run across is, is this argument you see right here. It has the claim, or the conclusion, Harry is a Bridges subject. And the evidence given is that Harry was born in Bermuda. Anyone born in Bermuda is a British subject. And the British Nationality Act identifies anyone born in Bermuda as a British subject. And in, and in this form, uh, Tolman uses uh, different names to classify different premises and where they fall in the argument structure. And he uses the term datum and warrant and backing. But it doesn't really explain a precise structure that, of the sentences that go inside each box. So you could pretty much just put anything in there and kind of be lost because you wouldn't know whether the datum connects to a warrant or the backing connects to a warrant or how how they actually work together in an argument. So I'm going to use the uh, this example and fill in the blanks with the logic bridge so you can begin to see how it gives you automatic control really of the way the premises connect. So we're starting here with the logic bridge template. And our conclusion is, Harry is a British subject. So we fill in, after the conclusion portion here, Harry is a British subject. And the student says, my conclusion is that Harry is a British subject. So there's no reasoning given in here yet because he, the student takes that as a given. But the audience says, how did you reach that conclusion? Because they don't see the connection right here between Harry and is a British subject. So that gap is what the student needs to attempt to close for the audience. So in effect, the audience is saying, how do I get from Harry down to is a British subject? There needs to be a, uh, another predicate here that will join these two. So the student says, well, my line of reasoning consists of two premises. First, Harry was born in Bermuda. And two, one who was born in Bermuda is a British subject. Therefore, Harry is a British subject. So the student's now provided reasoning for the conclusion. And he's provided two premises in the logic bridge format. The first premise is Harry was born in Bermuda. And the second premise is one who was born in Bermuda is a British subject. And therefore, Harry is a British subject. Yeah, but the audience says, how did you arrive at premise number two? So the audience is wondering, okay, how does the fact that you were born in Bermuda lead you to being a, a British subject? So here again, the audience is looking for the connection from was born in Bermuda to is a British subject. And the student responds, well, I've got two premises that make that connection. 
One, Harry meets the requirements of the British Nationality Act. And premise number two, one who meets the requirements of the British Nationality Act is a British subject. Therefore, Harry is a British subject. So now to meet the questions of the audience, the student's now providing three premises. First, Harry was born in Bermuda. Second, one who was born in Bermuda meets the requirements of the British Nationality Act. And the third premise, one who meets the requirements of the British Nationality Act is a British subject. And when the premises are aligned in this template, you know that it's it's logical. And the, and the logical connections are clear. So in this example, the audience says, okay, I agree to some extent with your premise number two and three. But how did you arrive at premise number one? So they're they're asking, how do you get from Harry to was born in Bermuda? They don't see that uh, as a fact at all yet. So they're they're trying to find uh, what needs to be provided is another predicate phrase that connects between Harry and was born in Bermuda. So the student replies, well, my line of reasoning consists of two premises to get to was born in Bermuda. First, Harry has a Bermuda birth certificate. And the second premise is, one who has a Bermuda birth certificate was born in Bermuda. So therefore, Harry was born in Bermuda. So his, the entire uh, argument consists finally, in this example, of four premises. And together they connect and form the conclusion that Harry is a British subject. So you can see with the logic bridge, there's no need to determine or try to guess which premise is a datum or a warrant or a backing. They're all equal. They just need to be put in the correct order and linked appropriately. Uh, and you'll have a logical argument. A particular way of looking at the template, which we'll discuss over and over, is that you can really see it as a term of connecting the dots or stepping stones. This portion right here really is just a repeat of what's previous. So you can think of it, or you can think of any reasoning, any logical reasoning, as a connecting of the dots or stepping stones, but the stones that you connect are the complex predicates, starting with the subject of the conclusion and ending with the predicate phrase of the conclusion. So you can see we can go from Harry to stepping on to as a Bermuda birth certificate. From there we can step on to was born in Bermuda. Stepping on to meets the requirements of the British Nationality Act. Stepping on to is a British subject. So by lining up the complex predicates with the start and finish of the conclusion in between, you are assured of having a clear, logical argument. Thank you.